Here we have two kinds of sum lock calculator. The one on the left here is one of the first to be made. This model was introduced in 1940. The one on the right is the last model to be made. It was introduced in 1953 and in production until the late 1960s. Both of these are set up for calculating uh, British currency. So they have columns for uh, pounds. This one has eight columns here for, for pounds with an extra digit on the end, so nine, uh, nine digits. Then two columns for shillings. There are 19 shillings in a pound. Then one column for pence. There are actually uh, 12 pence in a shilling. And the last column is for farthings. This is a quarter pence, so there you have four farthings in a penny. So I've set this all up now to the maximum value. And if I add one more farthing, it rolls over to the end. This, um, this machine has uh, error detection. So if you only do a partial key press, it detects that, it should have rung a bell, uh, and now it, it has locked up all the keys except for the one that you didn't press properly. So you can then uh, press it properly so that the number registers, and then this one locks as well. This is in case you have several keys that you only partially pressed, so you can do them one at a time until they've all locked up. Then you can release the keyboard by pressing this red button and continue your calculation. So if I press two keys partially, both of them are sort of uh, in, a, in a separate state. So all the other keys are locked. Each of those can be pressed to uh, fix it, and then uh, press the uh, release key to continue. So it should have rung a bell when I did only partial press, like that, that's better. So uh, this machine was uh, made in, uh, in around 1940, or actually 1941. Let me turn it over and show you the underside. It was made by the London Computator Corporation and it has this uh, extra plaque at the top here for a maintenance service free of charge for one year starting from uh, August 1941. So presumably that is when this machine was first sold. The model number down here is interesting as well. It starts with LC for London Computator and then it says 913 slash um, SF slash 1024. This model is normally called a 912 because it has nine keys in each column and 12 columns. But for some reason these early ones were called 913, presumably because they have 13 digits in the register. Um, this one over here, this one is a uh, 909 because again it has nine keys in each column but this one has nine columns. Um, this one is a 909F, the F meaning it has uh, farthings. For some reason this one was labelled SF, uh, the F was sort of added afterwards, after the label, after the plaque at the bottom was uh, made. So presumably that was a mistake. It was initially labelled an S and then that's, that's a machine that only has shillings and pence and does not have a farthing column. Uh, there are a few other differences between uh, the, this first machine and this 
last type of machine. Not just the cosmetic ones, like uh, that the keys are now round uh, plastic and uh, instead of uh, key tops on key stems. But uh, also this last machine does not have a correction button here. It doesn't have this red button. But it still does error correction, so if you, uh, if you press a key partially it, uh, yeah, it does the same thing, it locks everything up except for that one key. But now you release the, uh, the, the keyboard by pushing this uh, upwards. This is the clearing, uh, clearing lever, so pushing it downwards clears it, but pushing it upwards releases the uh, keyboard after an error has been made. So that was the uh, SumLock calculator, a uh, London computator model, and the last uh, bell punch model. Thank you for watching.